Dear students, today I am going to teach you to derive the formula to find the angle between two lines. Let us say the two lines B, Y, A, Y equal to M1X plus C1 and Y equal to M2X plus C2. And those two lines we can show in the diagram like this. Let us draw a diagram first of all. This is y axis this is x axis let us draw here itself this is x axis this is y axis and we can say this x dash this is y dash let us say these two lines are like this this and this these two lines are there let us say this first line is l1 and l2 okay let's say this is l1 this is l2 line and the equation of this l1 is y equal to m1 x plus c1 this one is y equal to m2 x plus c2 these are the two lines so now let us say the angle between these two lines be theta and the angle made by this first line with the x axis is theta 1 and the angle made by the line second line with the x axis is theta 2 let's say let us name this is a b C and then D E we can name like this okay let us name this is origin O now we can derive the formula in this way so let let y equals to m1 x plus c1 and y equals to m2 x plus c2 be the two lines two lines intersecting intersecting at C at C making angle theta between them between them now this is the line AD let line BE and AD makes make angles theta 1 and theta 2 with x axis in positive direction direction so this angle is theta 1 this angle is theta 2 angle in positive direction means anti-clockwise direction this line makes an angle of theta 1 in anti-clockwise direction with the x-axis this line makes an angle of theta 2 with the x-axis in anti-clockwise direction positive direction means anti-clockwise direction so this is the angle between them is this clear okay after explaining this figure up to here now we have got a triangle here over here this is the triangle in this triangle we know that this is the exterior angle of the triangle and these two are interior angle which are non-adjacent or opposite also we used to say okay this the, these two theta and theta 2 are the non-adjacent interior angle of theta 1 theta 1 is exterior angle so always the sum of these two non-adjacent interior angle is equal to this exterior angle so theta 1 will be equal to theta plus theta 2 in this triangle we will use this concept to derive the formula so we can write like this now in in triangle ABC ABC in triangle ABC if we see then theta 1 is equals to theta plus theta 2 the reason we can give exterior angle exterior angle of triangle is equal to equal to sum of sum of opposite also we can write opposite interior angle interior angle interior angle 
okay now this we can transpose like theta let's keep here and theta to this side so therefore we can write theta is equals to theta 1 minus theta 2 can we write this if you transpose this side theta 1 minus theta 2 theta is here only so theta equal to theta 1 minus theta 2 now operating operating tan on both sides if you operate tan on both sides you will get tan theta is equals to tan theta 1 minus theta 2 so now we can apply formula of tan a minus b tan theta is equals to tan a minus b formula is tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a tan b tan a tan b 1 plus tan a tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a tan b tan a minus b formula so tan theta we can keep as it is tan theta equals to tan theta 1 means m1 this m1 how it is, is m1 i will to show you here look at here we have got two lines here one is y equal to m1 x plus c1 and its slope is m1 and the slope of this line is theta 1 here intercept the inclination of this line is theta 1 so the slope of this line is also tan theta 1 so this is tan theta 1 this is m1 so m1 should be equal to tan theta 1 so here we can write uh, since slope of here slope of line slope of line uh, be equals to tan theta 1 which is equals to m1 as well similarly uh, another line ad ad is equals to slope of ad is equal to tan theta 2 which is m2 also so we can put value like this tan theta 1 is m1 minus tan theta 2 is m2 divided by 1 plus m1 times m2 1 plus m1 times m2 let us say this is equation 1 now again again let us see like this again in the same triangle let's see here in the same triangle this triangle we are saying that this is the angle between this AD and BE but not only this line is angle between these two lines this angle is also angle between these two lines this angle look at it this angle is also angle between these two lines because this and this are equal this and this are equal they are vertically opposite angle so the angle between these two lines is either this or this out of these two anyone we can say either this or this so this is theta so this is D C B is also angle between the lines so we can write here again angle DCB DCB is also the angle between between the lines lines so angle DCB DCB is equals to this angle look at here this sum of these two angle is 180 degree this plus this is 180 so what the value of this one this angle this one equals to 180 minus theta we can say so we can write directly here 180 degree minus theta we can write like this so here also we can operate tan on both side operating tan on both sides if you operate tan on both sides then tan angle DCB is equals to tan 180 degree minus theta so tan angle DCB is equals to minus tan theta so this can be written as tan angle DCB is equals to minus as it is and tan theta means the value of tan theta is here just now we have got here 
value of tenth is m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2. Let us replace this value in place of tan theta here. m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. This one. Let us say equation 2. Equation 2. Now, this angle, one angle is acute angle. This is acute angle. Where tan theta, we have got positive value. Look at here. Tan theta equals to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2. And this angle is obtuse angle. So in place of obtuse angle, we have got here minus one m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2. So if you want to read the formula at once, then we can combine these two. And combinedly, we can learn the formula. So combining, combining equation 1 and 2, we get then tan theta equals to 1 is plus, another is minus, so we can write this plus minus m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. This is the formula to find the angle between two lines. So only angle if you want to say then theta will be equal to tan if you transpose that side, the tan inverse also will say and we can write. So we can write in this way also, therefore like this theta equal to tan inverse we can write in the form inverse also tan inverse plus minus m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 in this way also we can write either you write like this way or you write like this way anyway you can write okay so now we have got two conditions over here two conditions that also i'm going to explain in the same so case one look at it case one this case one is what will happen if the lines are parallel when when the lines are parallel if the lines are parallel then theta will be equal to the angle between two lines see here if the lines are parallel here the angle between the lines would be zero so this theta will be equal to zero degree so this zero degree is neither acute nor positive, obtuse. So we don't have to take any positive value here. My plus minus no need to take. Since it is neither positive nor uh, neither um, acute nor obtuse, uh, we don't have to take plus minus. So directly we can write this one. Tan theta equals to tan theta equals to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. So tan theta here is tan 0 degree equals to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2. So tan 0, value of tan 0 is 0. 0 equals to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. So we can cross multiply. Then or this time 0 is 0 equals to m1 minus m2. So transpose. Therefore, m1 equals to m2 this is the condition to be the lines perpendicular so uh, no sorry parallel so if the lines are parallel then their slopes are equal so and vice versa also if the lines are parallel their slopes are equal m1 equal m2 if slopes are equal then the lines are parallel so it's vice versa both way we can do similarly what will happen if the lines are not parallel they are perpendicular now another case I will show you here case 2 case 2 is when the lines are when the lines are perpendicular then theta will be equal to 90 degree so we can write formula here also tan theta equals to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 here also no need to plus minus because 90 degree is also neither acute nor obtuse so no need to take plus minus sign so we can write like this only so this we can write like this look at here tan theta means tan or tan 90 degree equals to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 now the value of tan 90 is undefined 
So if you put here undefined sign here, if you multiply undefined by something, the result will be undefined. If you add something in undefined, that will also be undefined. So everything will become undefined. So we'll not put the value of 1090 here. What we'll do, we can write this one as sine 90 degree divided by cos 90 degree. We can write like this. So instead of putting undefined, so m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 or sine 90 is 1 cos 90 is 0 equals to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 so this we can show like this or let us cross multiply this times 1 is 1 plus m1 m2 equals to 0 times this is 0 so therefore m1 times m2 is equals to minus 1 so this is the condition to be the lines perpendicular so if the lines are perpendicular these two lines if these two lines are perpendicular to each other if this angle is 90 degree then the product of their slope will be equal to product of their slope, slope will be equal to minus 1 and similarly if the product of the slope of two lines are is minus 1 then the lines are perpendicular also so vice versa here also both the conditions will be satisfied so here are the two three solutions i have shown you one is to find the angle between the lines this one the another one is if the lines are parallel product uh, slopes are equal if the lines are perpendicular the product of the slope will be equal to minus one so in this way we can derive the formula to find the angle between two lines thank you for watching this video